Mark! Hang on. I might be a waste of time, son, but I'm still your dad. You can't just go round ignoring me. As opposed to what? Hanging on to your every word? I've tried that, Dad, we all have. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Oh, what, somebody forced you and Tara together, did they? Oh, forget Tara. She just treats people like dirt. Yeah, you maybe. All of us. You as much as anyone, so don't kid yourself. I'm more concerned about your mum. It's a bit late for that, innit? Has she said anything? Like what? Well, how she is. Anything about me? Oh, I see. This is all about you, innit? What about everybody else? Mark, you're a young lad. I know you're upset. But I don't understand. Yeah, I'm 17, Dad. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I know that. It's just with your mum and me. It... Well, it's a lot more complicated, that's all. No, it's not. It's dead simple. You see, you're the only one who thinks you've got any problems, and everyone's got to feel sorry for you. Well, forget it. Mark, don't just leave. Not like you, then, eh? What are you creeping about for? You're making me nervous. Is it safe? Well, there are economy bags, but I'm still alive so far. I mean, you fell a party animal. Is he lurking? Chris! Oh, he never stops over. There weren't much chance of it last night. We're steaming. Oh, we calmed down. Not enough to talk about it, but he'll get over it. If you don't mind me saying, I mean, you and him, I never put you together, if you see what I mean. I wonder if Pedram is your type. Why is that then? Well, you know. Well, he's uh, too old, we're too alike, he's in a wheelchair, what? I don't know, really, I just thought, sorry. We'll talk about it when you do know. Till then, don't. He's probably still in bed. Can you not just go and have a look for him? Oh, thanks. He's up all hours seeing to people. I'll be up all hours working to pay off my phone bill. Fascinating place, France. Lovely food. Darren? No, who's that? Sandra? Who? Only two more days, no, Ash. I'm waiting for Darren. I know you say that ovulation thing's only a record, but it looks suspiciously like a programme of upcoming events to me. Darren? Well, it's hardly been a chore so far, has it? Darren, it's me, I am. Yeah, we have to keep going now for insurance purposes. Me? Nicholas? You don't have that daft sometimes. So basically, in two you days' are? time, you can start testing, or, You'll have to or whatever it is you're supposed to be either. doing, <laughs> seeing if we have lift-off. Eh? No, I was thinking I might come back now if you're having to stay while well Easter. You even just got here. Does that mean we can, you know, um, we were that before. slow down a bit? Now, Sandra. Ashley, it's a clinical. Especially you're breaking up, love. Oh, there's less fortunate what? and all that. Ah. Hello? Love you. Bye. Bad line. The only thing I've got out of these things so far is about three tonne of grey scratchings. <laughs> I'd be better off saving it all and weighing it in. Well, can't fault you for ambition, son, but your investment tactics are about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. I fattened up that pot to some tune, though, didn't I? Ah, oh, you did that. Trouble is, uh, you have yet to acquire old man's uh, expertise in the world of adventure capitalism. Huh? 50 quid is 50 quid, but with a bit of uh, informed speculation, that 50 quid could be transformed. Into uh, what? More than 50 quid. Well, go on, then. All right. Three ingredients. Yeah? First, remove the said 50 quid from the pot. Second, early doors in the first race at Wolverhampton. Eh? And last, well, a couple of pints down the woolly to get it all going. Well, that's four. Ah, it's rubbing off on you already. Hey, hey, come on, lad. Hey. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to put a sign up. No hawkers or scrubbers. And how would we get served? How's business, then? Oh, you know, up and down. How's Bob? I beg your pardon? If you see him, will you tell him I'm so sorry I couldn't put him up last night? But you know what folk round here are like. You have a few people round for a drink and they all think it's all sex and drugs and rock and roll. We wouldn't have heard the last of it if it had stayed all night. He gets around, that Bob. I'll give him that. I think it livened him up a bit. You know what, with uh, mixing with the younger crowd and that. Bob, eh? Who'd have thought it? Still, any port in a storm. Just... just take your lewd insinuations and your muffins elsewhere. I do not need you in my shop, thank you very much. 
No problem. See ya. Oh. We'll tell Bob you said hello. Oh, thanks. And while you're at it, will you say hello to Terry and all? You know they're a right pair when them two get together. I do not know how you keep up with them. I wouldn't mind, even when I can't see him, I can't get away from him clattering about up there! So have you got time for a brew then, or what? Oh, Mark, I've got him up there doing me head and I've got a kitchen full of veg once peeling. Can't it wait till later? Morning! Business booming, I trust. Don't feel like you have to make conversation on your way out. <laughs> That's not conversation. That's gloating. <laughs> Ooh. He thinks I won't have him, but I will. I will. Right, go on then, what? What do you mean, what? Well, you're coming here for something, aren't you? And I'm up to here with it today. Don't have a go at me, cos you wound up about that creep. It's not my fault he's walking all over you. Who are you talking to? Just stick it here. Mark, 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 Mark. Wait, I'm... S I'm sorry, all right? I'm in a foul mood today. I'm up to there with Pollard and... I shouldn't be taking out on you. I know you're... I know you're struggling. Not all bills, I hope. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, no. Business letters for Malcolm. Again. I've stopped replying to them. I'm just doing return to sender. Must be difficult for you, being constantly reminded. <laughs> I manage. I suppose you might manage a bit better if somebody saved you the bother of having to keep fending them off. Why don't you let me reply to them and tell them what's what? Well, it'll save you the distress. I, I wouldn't want you going to any trouble. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's no trouble. Let me walk you to work. I don't suppose Malcolm's got any business. Ooh, hey, watch for you! Going up! Cool again! God, those kids! Little swines for a lot of them. I was saying, uh, I don't suppose Malcolm's got any more uh, business doings he needs. Yeah, clearing up. Oh, there's an office full, I just keep putting it off. Well, why don't I come round and take a look? Uh? No, no. No, it's all right. I, uh... Why don't I put it all in some boxes instead? And I send the taxi round. I'll do it over lunch. Excellent, Seeds. Are you worrying about it then? You're a very thoughtful man, Eric. Thank you. Oh. I'd best get back. Yes, sir. Uh, see you later then. Can't quite see Jim Marshall's business decisions being influenced by a volleyball on a small sherry. Details, darling. You'd be surprised. Nothing surprises me. <laughs> Especially where I'm concerned. You said it. You two might just focus your charm on the client instead of wasting it on each other. Oh, don't worry. There are still some of us who can manage not to make a pig's ear out of the entire operation. If there were time, I'd be insulted. There's always time. These are the martial notes. Business deals, track records, everything we've got, basically. I thought they'd look better in proper folders. Well, who needs substance when you've got cosmetics? It's old professionalism. Exactly. I know. I've already seen it in action. With more chance of keeping him on board if everyone's looking busy. Instead of faffing round him like, like we're completely desperate. Which we are. Right. Which is why surely you'd be better off out among the animals or whatever. Let us get the formalities out of the way, and then we'll show him round the stables. See you doing, doing whatever you do. One thing I don't do is treat amnesia. I like when people forget who is in charge and who isn't. So just have a vulnerable and shut up with you. Hey, don't you dare! Where'd you get your tips, you, eh? Early doors. Still waking up now, man. Oh, going were too soft. I reckon they called it early doors because of his milk round. <laughs> Honest, Alan, can you believe he's just dropped 20 quid on a settee with legs? Man, you don't upset me when I'm in a good mood. Uh, it's a cruel world. Still, I imagine it hasn't put you off your drink. You're joking, aren't you? Two pints of lager, silver play. <laughs> I've only had one really good tip. Don't bet. Yeah, unless it's on something you fix yourself. Hey! Is there no romance left in your miserable lives? Don't bet, it's like saying, don't breathe. I'll we'll breathe some of that. Cure anything. Anyway, cheers. Minor setback is this. It's early yet, and I sense that I'm on a roll, you know. I'm just waiting for inspiration to descend. <laughs> oh, aye. And where from this time? Who we could take any form, son. Any form at all. Even the form of another pint. <laughs> One day he'll come along, the man I love, and he'll be big and strong. 
The man I love. What do you think you're playing at? Anything you're up for, my little lost butty. Get lost. Now. As in, get lost. What bit didn't you understand? What am I supposed to do now, Viv? Oh, don't come innocent with me, pal. Where were you last night then, eh? And who the hell do you think you were with? Terry, for a start. Leading him astray. So, flowers, still not a good idea then. Out. I can explain. Go on then. All right, then I can't explain. Out! Are you sure you don't want these? Why not donate them to charity? Well, better still. Right, right. Get the message. That's all you'll be getting from now on. Now, out! Can I perhaps get you a drink, Mr Marshall? All these uh, figures and statistics? The right, last thing I want is to get a thick head. Listen, we've done all handshaking and mithering and what have you. Now, there's none of you lot going to bring up this cock-up with Brendan's dead fall. So it might as well be me. <laughs> What's the crack, then? Oh, we can't deny that was an unfortunate development. <laughs> dead right, you can't. You might have legs like a derby winner, love. Oh, and I'm letting on of notice, because you've worked that hard making sure I did. But I've been around this game a sight longer than you have. We're taking full responsibility for the accident. Mm, if you'd said out else, you'd been watching my roller disappear up your drive, love. I haven't made my mind up whether my mare's going or staying yet. But one thing I will do is make sure there's competent vetting before I decide one way or the other. Have you got me? Oh, I think we're pretty clear. Oh, there are I'm sorry, I couldn't stop. I want to know. Mark, would you mind just waiting outside? I said I want to know. What the hell's going on I now? Think you're probably best sorting this out. No, Tara. I think he wants to know. Oh, just get out. Mark, can it not wait? Just leave me alone. I'm talking to her. Look, will one of you just get him out? I think we've more chance once he finds out, lad. Whatever he's on about. So get on with this sunshine, because I don't know you, and I don't mind bouncing you right back out any minute. You're annoying me. You wanted me, didn't you? You meant it, even though you were seeing my dad. You meant it. You and me. I haven't got the faintest idea what he's ranting on about. I think we've probably got a fair idea. <laughs> tell him what you said. Have you been drinking, Mark? <laughs> tell him! I tell you what, why don't I leave you to it while you all sort yourself out? Hey, Mr Marshall, please. You're a liar. You are my dad. You are liars! Uh, I'll phone. Like I said, nothing surprises me, especially with you. Get over to Gloria's, will you? She's got some boxes want picking up and bringing them back here ASAP. Is she paying, are you? <laughs> it's called in-house expenditure. So nobody's paying? Just get on with it, will you? Saves us standing around here cluttering the place up. Haven't you got anything to do? Don't mind me. Mrs. Warburton. Uh, yes, Eric Pollard. I, I've decided to take those bits and pieces off you after all. <laughs> yes. Well, I thought uh, 200 pounds. How does that sound, eh? Excellent, excellent. Well, I'll, I'll be around uh, this afternoon then, shall I? No? Even better. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Business. <laughs> Look and learn. You put the whole operation at risk by behaving like a common tart. Oh, do shut up, Zoe. What would you know besides upper-class tart, if you want to be accurate? Tara, why don't we go and have something to eat? And more importantly, drink. Good idea. Nice to see that you're not put out. <laughs> put out? I am fed up to the point of screaming, but it's not going to get me anywhere, is it? My sex life is common knowledge all over Yorkshire, and my business is about to go down the pan, so too right I am put out. Why did I ever expect this not to be a nightmare? You are a complete liability. Hmm. One up from town. Uh, if you so-called vets had done your job properly, we wouldn't have been in this position, and you have got no room to talk to anybody about town. 
hearts, have you? Marshall did say he'd phone. I'll tell you what, hold your breath till he does. You can all do what you like. I'm going back to work. Mm. But you weren't so dedicated over Brendan's mare, isn't it? There are some people, Tara, who genuinely make me realise why I prefer animals. Mm. You have slung your bike right across that drive. Someone will break the neck, get it shifted. Have you been crying? Hey, what's up? It's all right. Shh, it's all right. What's up? Can't be that bad. <laughs> I thought she was serious. Tara, I, th I thought she meant it. Tara? Has your dad said something? Thought she meant what? <laughs> Me and Tara. Just all the things she said and the, the presents and she's been so nice and everything. What's been going on? If she said something about me and your dad... Oh, no, you're not listening to me, are you? You're just like him. I thought she wanted me. What has been going on? Please, Mark, tell me. Nothing. Didn't know she was seeing my dad as well, did I? As well? Go and wash your face. Do as you're told. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place. <coughs> Terry, love, would you mind taking your smoke elsewhere? It's not conducive. You are. I'm just very susceptible to airborne pollutants. You had a bang on the head? <laughs> As a pub, Denise, people expect to partake of activities not necessarily associated with good health. Yeah, well, you can't be too careful. You don't think you're pregnant already? Well, I would be if wishing helped. I won't know for a couple more days. But I do know my body and it's talking to me. What's it say? Very strange things. Any chance of a pint? <clears throat> what about quiz machines? They're a way of making money, huh? Can't be that hard. You know what? You wouldn't even know where to put the money in. <laughs> I'm not thick, me, you know. Yeah, but they don't ask questions on... Remand centuries of England and Wales, do they, eh? <laughs> if you quit just walked in there. Stay away from her. She's poison. She's not better than us. No. But she can afford better liars. <laughs> eh? What have you done with it? Sorry? Sorry, would, uh, would, sir, would, sir, like a table? Or... I have just come from a house clearance. The picture that I was interested in is now gone. <laughs> the lady of the house informs me that she sold it to a tall, skinny chap wearing a dishcloth wrapped round his head, stinking a chip fat. Hmm. Who could it be? You devious, conniving... Thank you, thank you. Coming from you, that's a real compliment. It was a Joe, wasn't it? Not sure about it on the wall, though. What do you think? Um, How much? Rod's quite like it, actually. He's very good, apparently, this what's his name. Well, Bracknell Ignoramus. How much? Well, I did consult a number of local dealers. Bit of a bargain at 50 quid, eh? <laughs> of course, that's not what I'd charge you, obviously. Seen Tara? I've been up to Oakwell, but she's not there. Angie, this is none of my business, all this. It will be if you don't tell me. Well, I wouldn't want to cause any trouble, but I think that might be her car outside the wall pack. All right, ladies. Oh, Terry, now please don't feel the need to apologise. You're not you lads alike. Sorry? You've changed your tune. Yeah, well. Just because some of us get involved in having a few innocent drinks now and again, we shouldn't brand everybody as a scheming, devious lover right now, should we? Oh, right. Well, you were happy enough to brand Bob. Yeah, well, I've mellowed since. Oh, so you've seen Bob, then? Only long enough to sling him out. You've got him all wrong, that lad. He's besotted with you. Any man that comes in hiding behind a bunch of flowers, you know they're up to no good. I mean, you wouldn't give me flowers now, Terry, would you? I just don't know why you've got such a downer on him. I happen to like getting flowers, sometimes. I just don't want to see anybody taking advantage of Viv's good nature. That's all.
Where is she? I beg your pardon? Lady Chatterley, where is she? If you mean Lady Tara, she's inside waiting for me to get some documents. So we can work over lunch if you must know. Don't get snotty with me, love. What a delightful turn of phrase. What is going on with you and my son? I'm sorry? Was one not enough? All your little games making him think there's something going on between you. What are you trying to do to my family? It seems you don't know much about what's going on in your own house, Mrs Reynolds. Especially with the men. You're just a jumped-up little tart, aren't you? <sighs> just cos you got money. Well, it does seem to help, I must admit. As for the first part, it obviously appeals to some. It's hardly appropriate, ladies, all this, is it? You're taking advantage of a young lad. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Excuse me. Don't expect me to apologise for having something that you clearly haven't. You what? <laughs> 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 